Yeah, you gotta give me a teenage smirk. <laughs> it's very bright outside. You may recall that crevice corrosion had ruined our backstay chain plate. You can see the crack, and from the other side of it, you can see that the crack also is beginning to extend on the other side. We had a new one made. And my youngest daughter, Drake Diana, was in charge of taping during the dry fit. The new backstay chain plate is uh, about half an inch wider than the old one, which I think will provide more, more strength. Okay. Really good to have a backstay again. Can't sell without it. The Ericsson 38 has a 50 gallon diesel fuel tank and to add 20 more gallons on deck I built uh, deck jug carriers out of plywood as I had with uh, the first Thelonious and they worked, uh, they worked fine on a test sale except that the Genoa sheet tended to foul in that slot right there. Say, remember when we used to hire a sign painter? Vinyl letters changed all that. To cover up the slots, I just made some teak slats to screw on. These are very secure, not going any place, and uh, it's nice to have the fuel cans out of the way when moving forward. And here's the real problem, which was a corroded and worn out gooseneck fitting for which we devised uh, sistering quarter inch stainless plates, which I had a welder make up, and my friend Russ Hunziger, Do you think we need who's to an aerospace again? engineer, yeah, what I really think is to grind the stepped edges in. of this plate down, and I think it'll fit. The stainless plate? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, 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 I don't have it. My foundry is on a barge in New Orleans. Russ expects a team of five or six men in sterile garments in a full machine shop, I handed him a wooden handled hammer. So I don't know what to call this. Edison was a great inventor. Maybe we should call it Edison plates. What do you think, Russ? I'm thinking the inventor usually gets naming rights. So you want to call these what? Hunziker plates? Hunziker plates. And whenever you have the uh, gooseneck off a of boom, it's a good time to inspect and revise the internal gear. In this case, uh, the topping lift and the outhaul. So this this ends up out on the side of the, the, the yeah, boom. Yeah, let's stretch it out and we'll... So it goes up inside the boom. This goes to the pin. Right. And this has a different destination, the slot in the side of the boom. So I'm pulling through that. Side exit of center line. Okay. okay. Amazing. I think they went in without fouling, didn't they? That looks very clear for the inside of a boom, since, you know, some booms have big cascades in there. And here's reef number one and reef number two. And these Hunziker plates, quarter inch stainless steel, I mean, they look really strong to me. And I'll bet they're strong enough. In fact, they better be, which actually reminds me of Pascal's wager. You remember? Blaise Pascal, the, the great mathematician, actually built one of the first computers, and he was a great defender of the faith, right, back in the 18th century. And he said, Pascal's wager is, well, if you, if, you, uh, if you bet that God exists and you're wrong, you lose nothing. If you are right, eternal life. But if you bet that God doesn't exist, 
and your right, you gain nothing. But if you're wrong, hmm. So, I choose to believe that overbuilding my Hunziker plates, I lose nothing if I'm wrong. So that's the Salamat in its resting position. I would say its beauty position. But to be operational, the steering oar needs to be in its extended position. It can just be lowered down into the water. And when the wind dies, because the, the Selma doesn't really work on this boat under about three knots of boat speed, maybe two and a half. Um, so when the wind dies, the boat slows down, the self-steering vane's no longer working. This is the uh, storage position uh, offshore, if anytime you don't want to use it. And now, if this fog would lift, we could go sailing. <coughs> oh, I, excuse me. I, I just want to look at the. I, I want to. Look, I want to look at the fog. I just want to look at the fog. Yeah. So let's see, I'm 200 pounds. You're okay, I get it. I just, can I look around the corner? Uh, allow me to look around the corner. See that fog out there? What do you, is it, what do you think? 